Today we're continuing this series on the Starlink Mini and how this might be the ultimate portable internet connectivity device ever invented. I love it, it's such a cool product. But today specifically, we're talking about powering it by USB-C. Now, if you remember in a previous video, we talked about powering it from a 12 volt battery and we used this Golden Mate Orion 1000 and some alligator clamps here and the barrel plug to power it and we had some issues if you hadn't seen that go ahead and check out the video over here when we're done with this one but today like i said we're going to talk about usb-c and i've got several different options here we've got the blue eddy which you've seen and many of you have purchased with the ac adapter here pretty cool and then also We've got the Anchor, which is a super popular one with USB-C on the back. And then we've also got this unit right here, this Afri, I think that's how you say it. And it's got USB-C outlets on the front of it. Also, many of you guys have been asking in the comments section, can you use a cigarette lighter? And we'll talk about that as well. So those are our four things we're gonna discuss. I wanna jump back real quick to the issues that we had with utilizing the 5521 barrel connector and the clamp meters. Many of you guys accurately diagnosed the fact that we were trying to utilize these, as one commenter said, janky barrel adapters. Utilize this, plug it in here, plug it in here. And then once you go through the entire length of this cable, the voltage drop going through some pretty weak connections here ended up being too great for us to use the original cable, keeping it watertight. So we're gonna address those issues and figure out a way around it. For those who are unaware, on the back right here, it says that the input voltage is 12 to 48 volts up to five amps. So 60 watts is the maximum, and you can utilize anywhere from 12 to 48 volts, which is great because we've got a 12 volt battery. The problem was the voltage drop over super long wire, too much resistance, janky connector, and that caused the problems. So in order to overcome that, we need to use a higher voltage. And that's where this little guy comes in. It is a USB-C cable that goes to a 5521 barrel connector. And the cool thing about it, and the reason I purchased this one, is it allows you to select your voltage. You can go with nine volts, 12 volts, 15, and 20, I believe. That allows us to step the voltage up, make it higher, so that then we can overcome the resistance and get at least 12 volts into the Starlink Mini. This is a great time to point out, if you're interested in any of these products, the Starlink Mini will be linked right here natively in the bottom left corner, the native YouTube shopping. You can buy it, I believe, from Home Depot. And then any of the other products will be linked in the description. And feel free to use those links. They are affiliate links. It helps me out if you use them. So I appreciate those of you who have used them in the past. Because we're inside and I can't really you know, see if I have internet access through this guy. What we're gonna do to judge whether any of these options work or not is look for the blue light. Most of you have no idea what the blue light is. I didn't either until my son pointed it out while we were testing a few weeks ago. Right over here in this corner, it's underneath the plastic will be a blue LED that shines when it is properly connected. Y you don't notice it unless you're looking for it but that's what we're gonna be looking for. So for this test, we're going to be judging it on utilizing the original plug or the original cable into the Starlink Mini. That way we have a watertight connection, making sure we can leave it outside in the rain if we're utilizing it that way. The next thing we're gonna do is take the other end of this cable, put on the janky adapter, which even just sliding it on there, it just doesn't feel that great. However, it, well, as you'll see, it does work in some of these situations. The next thing we're gonna do is then plug in the USB-C cable, and then we're gonna plug it into these various devices to see what works and what doesn't work. In order to do so, I'm gonna unplug this guy right here and we're gonna start. Let's go ahead and start first with the Afri product. I'm gonna turn this guy on. Once it's turned on, I'm going to go over to USB and turn on the USB. We'll see it's indicated right here. We have zero watts being output and on the front we have USB options. Also, anybody who's wondering why there aren't any AC options or plugs, that's because they're over here on the side, there's six AC wall plugs. Now, this one's 20 watts, 20 watts, 20 watts and then 100 watts. We know that this needs a roughly 30 watts, maybe 40 watts to start up, and then after it balances out, it goes down to about 20. So what we're gonna do is plug into the 100 watts, 
the 20 watt power delivery port will not work for this purpose. And we're gonna select, you press and hold, and it goes to nine volts from five to nine. Press and hold again, it goes to 12. Press and hold again, it goes to 15. And do it again, and it goes to 20. Once we've done that, we've got 20 volts coming out of the unit. We're gonna plug it in, and we're gonna look for the blue light, and there we have it, it's blue. It just came on right there. Over here, we'll notice that we're pulling 40 watts, 41 watts, and I do really like this. I was kind of complaining about it on the Golden Mate, where you can actually see the time remaining. With 28% in this battery, we've got 11 hours at 42 watts. Now, like I said, it's gonna come back down to about 20 watts, 25 watts, something like that after it settles in. There we go, we already see it dropping down a little bit, but that'll change how much the time remaining we have. So we know that that works, going all the way through the 15 meter cable. So I like that, I like that's a really good option. Now, let's go ahead and unplug this. I don't think we need to try the 20 watt out uh, option because that's just not gonna work. The next thing, I've got an anchor power delivery, cigarette lighter, car charger. It's hard to see on here, this one, shows 15 volts at two amps. So that would give us 30 watts. And it also shows us 20 volts at 1.5 amps. Again, giving us 30 watts. So I don't think this is gonna work. So when you guys ask, will it work from a, a cigarette car lighter? It might, but I don't think it's gonna work from this one. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna turn off the USB-C. I'm gonna turn on the DC over here. We're gonna plug it in. And then we're gonna plug in this guy right here and select, oh, it's already given us an error. We're erroring out as we try to go into 15 watts. But we're at 20 watts, let's see what happens. Oh, nope, error, dropped back to five. So that's not gonna work at all, it just can't handle it. Next thing we're gonna do, go to the Anchor. This is a great product. Let's look and see what it says on the back. Man, it's almost impossible to read. 20 volts, 1.5 amps. So that's gonna be 30, that's not gonna do it. Wait, that's input, output, 20 volts, 1.5. We're gonna try it. We'll see what happens. The interesting thing is, I'll tell you right now, in trying this, I got it to work one time earlier and then it didn't work the next time. 20 volts, we're gonna plug it in, looking for the blue lights. This is starting to like glitch out. So I'm gonna say it's not working, no blue lights. Anchor product, dead. Make sure if you've got a product that has USB-C power delivery that you can get the full 40 watts that you need. All right, now we've got this guy again. Let's check it out. Blue Eddy, it says right here on the DC side, it says in and out, power delivery 3.0, 45 watts. That should do it. Let's plug it in. Actually, let's unplug this first. Plug this in. We're gonna select 20 volts. Plug this in, not glitching out. And blue light came on. So once again, the Blue Eddy product here becomes one of my favorite power banks. If you haven't seen the previous video where I discussed using the wall outlet to run this off of AC, this is one of the only, if not the only power bank that I've ever seen that has AC, an AC plug on the back side so you can turn that on and you can actually run 100 watts AC. It's actually pretty amazing. About 50 of y'all have purchased these. I don't know how many are left on online, but you can check out the link below. It's rock solid, it's like 40 bucks, like $38 or something like that. You can't get anything inexpensive. So if you're interested in one of these, links in the description below. Okay, the next thing to do is I'm gonna unplug this and I'm gonna just plug it directly into this. 12 volts at 30 amps, just gonna plug it in We've got 56 watts, blue lights on. So that is your easiest. That is the best go-to. There's no clamps. There's no like, you know, utilizing alligator clamps or any third party janky connectors or anything. You just go straight through the wire, barrel connector from your DC to your DC and it, it's great. So hands down, I would say that's the best way to do it. It is also interesting that it's pulling more watts than the USB-C. I don't think the USB-C was capable of giving the unit everything that it needed. So that's interesting to me. All right, so what do we have left to do? We've shown that you can run USB-C from anything that's capable of putting out 45 watts or more. I don't really know what else to, to show you. One other option, if you've got the battery like this, is you can get your alligator clamps. Like if you've got something like this, which I don't have that can put out 45 watts, you can clamp that on and you can be good to go. But I'd say if you're trying to go 
USB-C, right now the only one that I own that I know works well is this old Blue Eddy and Max Oak and it's fantastic. Probably your best bet is to go direct like this and take from there. If you haven't seen my previous videos, check them out right here. I'm Eric from East Texas Homestead. We talk about all things self-sufficiency. We talk about battery backups, whole home stuff and solar panels. We love it. We'd love to see you on some more videos. Talk to you soon.